Music by three trailblazers, Florence Price, William Grant Still, and Ludwig van Beethoven, highlight this CSO program led by Riccardo Muti. Florence Price's Third Symphony was a commission from the Federal Music Project of the WPA, the Works Progress Administration. This New Deal initiative was designed to support struggling musicians and promote live music during the Great Depression. Price had come to the WPA's attention through, among other works, her Symphony in E Minor, which the CSO premiered in 1933, and which made her the first black woman to have a piece played by a major American orchestra. The Detroit Civic Orchestra premiered the Third Symphony in 1940. The work combines classical forms with expressions of the African diaspora. Listen for the echoes of folk melodies, black spirituals, and a juba, a rollicking dance that became a signature of Price's symphonic style. Another mid-century pioneer was William Grant Still, sometimes called the Dean of African American Composers. He composed his mother and child after a lithograph by Sargent Johnson, a Harlem Renaissance artist. More than just a lullaby, as it's sometimes called, the piece is a meditation on the complexity of maternal love, with shifts between major and minor, tension and resolution. Beethoven's Egmont Overture formed part of his incidental music for Goethe's tragedy of the same name. The play centers on Count Egmont, a Flemish resistance fighter who fought to liberate the Netherlands from Spanish occupation in the 16th century. The revolutionary story resonated with Beethoven, who was living in French-occupied Vienna at the time. The music begins with slashing chords and a somber theme, but the mood shifts and drives to a defiant and heroic conclusion. Finally, Beethoven wrote his fourth symphony while staying at the country estate of his patron, Prince Lichnowsky, in 1806. There he met a Count Franz von Oppersdorf, a keen admirer who happened to maintain his own private orchestra. The Count commissioned the fourth for a substantial fee and oversaw its Vienna premiere the following year. The dark and suspenseful introduction anticipates aspects of the fifth symphony, but the music's overall tone is relaxed and witty with the finale suggesting the final scene of a comic opera.